Throughout history, humanity has faced numerous outbreaks that challenged our understanding of diseases and tested our ability to control their spread. In this video, we'll be talking about five mysterious outbreaks throughout history that have left an impact on society, causing death, social disruption, and economic instability. While medical science has made significant progress in understanding and controlling infectious diseases, there are still many outbreaks that remains a mystery. The Plague of Athens The Plague of Athens was a devastating epidemic that struck Athens, Greece during the Peloponnesian War in 430 BCE. The outbreak is believed to have started in Ethiopia and spread to Egypt before reaching Athens through the port of Piraeus. The disease quickly spread throughout the city, causing fever, vomiting, and bloody coughing, leading to the death of an estimated 75,000 to 100,000 people, including the famous Greek statesman Pericles. Some believe that the disease was caused by typhus, smallpox, or Ebola, while others suggest that it may have been caused by a virus or bacteria that no longer exists. Despite the mystery surrounding its cause, the plague of Athens had a significant impact on Greek society, leading to social and political upheaval and a shift in cultural values. One of the most significant impacts was the loss of Pericles, who was a major political and military leader in ancient Greece. The plague had weakened Athens' military and political power, leading to its eventual defeat in the Peloponnesian War. The loss of so many lives also had a significant impact on Athenian society, causing a sense of despair and a questioning of traditional values and beliefs. It also had an impact on the arts and literature of ancient Greece. The famous historian Thucydides chronicled the outbreak in his work, History of the Peloponnesian War, providing a vivid account of the suffering and deaths caused by the disease. The outbreak also influenced the work of other Greek writers, such as Sophocles and Euripides, who wrote plays that reflected the sense of despair and questioning that arose from the epidemic. Despite the mystery surrounding the cause of the plague of Athens, its impact on ancient Greece cannot be underestimated. The loss of so many lives, including that of Pericles, has significant political and cultural consequences, leading to a shift in values and beliefs. The Dancing Plague of 1518 The Dancing Plague of 1518 was a bizarre event that occurred in Strasbourg, France. It was an outbreak of dancing mania that affected hundreds of people, causing them to dance uncontrollably for days, sometimes collapsing from exhaustion or even dying from heart attacks or strokes. The outbreak lasted for several months and spread to other areas, including the Holy Roman Empire. The cause of the dancing plague remains a mystery. Some scientists have suggested that the outbreak was a result of mass hysteria or ergot poisoning caused by eating bread contaminated with a fungus that produces a hallucinogenic compound. Others have suggested that the outbreak was caused by a viral infection, although no definitive evidence has been found to support this theory. The Dancing Plague began in July of 1518, when a woman named Fra Torfea began to dance in the streets of Strasbourg. Within days, dozens of other people had joined her, and the number of dancers continued to grow over the following weeks. By August, there were around 400 people dancing in the streets, some of them naked and covered in sweat and dust. The authorities in Strasbourg were alarmed by the outbreak and tried to put a stop to it. They banned music and dancing in the streets and even hired musicians to play mournful tunes to try to calm the dancers down. However, these measures had little effect and the outbreak continued to spread. It eventually came to an end in September of 1518 when the dancers began to disperse and return to their normal lives. It's estimated that around 15 people died from the physical exertion and exhaustion of the dancing, although the exact number is difficult to determine. The dancing plague serves as a reminder 
of the strange and unpredictable nature of human behavior and the many mysteries that remain to be solved. The Kokulitsi Epidemic The Kokulitsi Epidemic was a devastating outbreak of disease that struck Mexico in the late 16th century. The epidemic is believed to have been responsible for the deaths of up to 80% of the indigenous population of Mexico. The disease was a mystery at the time, and its cause remains unknown, but recent research has suggested that it may have been caused by a strain of Salmonella bacteria. The Cocolizzi epidemic struck Mexico in 1545, and another outbreak occurred in 1576. The disease was characterized by fever, headaches, muscle aches, and bleeding from the eyes, nose, and mouth. Many of those who were infected died within days, leading to a significant decline in the indigenous population of Mexico. The cause of the Cocolizzi epidemic remained a mystery for centuries. Some theories suggest that the disease may have been caused by a virus, while others speculate that it may have been due to environmental factors, such as drought or famine. However, recent research has suggested that the epidemic may have been caused by a strain of Salmonella bacteria, which was discovered in the teeth of skeletons from the time period. The impact of the Cocolizzi epidemic on Mexico was significant. Other than the effect on the indigenous population, the epidemic also had a significant impact on Mexican society, leading to social and economic upheaval. The loss of so many lives had a significant impact on the country's infrastructure, leading to a decline in agricultural production and a shortage of labor. The Cocolizzi epidemic also had an impact on the arts and literature of Mexico. The outbreak was chronicled in the work of the famous Aztec historian Bernardino de Sahagan, who wrote about the suffering and deaths caused by the disease. The epidemic also influenced the work of Mexican writers and artists for centuries to come, inspiring works of art and literature that reflected the sense of despair and questioning that arose from the epidemic. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in the Cocolizzi epidemic, as scientists continue to investigate the cause of the disease. The discovery of the salmonella bacteria in the teeth of skeletons from that time period has provided new insight into the outbreak, but the cause of the epidemic remains a subject of debate among scholars. Although the epidemic occurred centuries ago, its legacy continues to be felt in Mexico to this day. The Sweating Sickness The Sweating Sickness was a highly contagious disease that struck England in the 15th and 16th century, causing widespread panic and fear. The disease was characterized by a sudden onset of symptoms, including fever, sweating, headaches, and muscle pain. Within hours, the patient could develop a bluish skin color and collapse, often leading to death within a few hours. The sweating sickness first appeared in England in 1485 and struck the country several times throughout the next century. The outbreak was most severe in 1528 when it killed thousands of people in just a few weeks. It's estimated that up to 15% of those infected died from the illness. Despite numerous attempts to identify the cause of the sweating sickness, the disease remains a mystery to this day. Some historians and scientists believe that the disease may have been caused by a type of hantavirus, while others suggest that it may have been a form of influenza or even a reaction to a particular environmental factor such as contaminated water or a toxin in the air. The disease was highly contagious, and people who were infected were often quarantined or abandoned by their families. The outbreak also had a significant impact on the English economy as workers were unable to perform their jobs due to the high mortality rate of the disease. Despite its deadly impact, it eventually disappeared from England in the 16th century, and there have been no recorded cases ever since. Some scientists suggest that it may have been due to the development of herd immunity or the elimination of a particular environmental factor. It also had an impact on the arts and literature of the time, influencing the work of writers such as William Shakespeare and John Milton, 
who wrote about the disease in their plays and poetry. The Yellow Fever Epidemic in 1793 The Philadelphia epidemic of yellow fever in 1793 was one of the deadliest epidemics in American history, killing thousands of people and striking fear into the hearts of residents of the city. Yellow fever had hit Philadelphia in July 1793, but took its peak in the first two weeks of October. The disease was a mystery at the time, and its cause was unknown, but recent research has suggested that the outbreak may have been caused by mosquitoes carrying the virus. Yellow fever is a viral disease that is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. The disease causes fevers, chills, muscle pains, and other symptoms, and can be fatal in severe cases. Yellow fever began in August of 1793 and quickly spread throughout the city, causing widespread panic and fear. At the time, the cause of yellow fever was not understood, and there were no effective treatments for the disease. Medical practitioners were powerless to stop the spread of the disease, and many people fled the city in an attempt to escape the epidemic. The streets of Philadelphia were littered with dead bodies, and the stench of death was overpowering. The impact of the Philadelphia epidemic of yellow fever was significant. The disease killed thousands of people, and many more were left sick and incapacitated. The epidemic also had a significant impact on the city's economy, as businesses closed and trade was disrupted. The outbreak of yellow fever in Philadelphia contributed to a general sense of fear and uncertainty in the young American nation and highlighted the need for improved public health measures and medical knowledge. Recent research has shed new light on the cause of the Philadelphia epidemic of yellow fever. In 1900, the American scientist Walter Reed discovered that yellow fever was transmitted by mosquitoes, and subsequent research has suggested that the outbreak in Philadelphia may have been caused by mosquitoes carrying the virus. This theory is supported by evidence from the time, which suggests that the epidemic was most severe in areas with high mosquito populations. The outbreak highlighted the need for improved public health measures and medical knowledge, and contributed to the development of new treatments and preventative measures for the disease. As we have seen, outbreaks are complex and often unpredictable. They can strike at any time and have the potential to cause widespread devastation, both in terms of human lives and the global economy. But despite their unpredictability, there are steps that we can take to prepare for and mitigate the impact of outbreaks. By staying informed, practicing good hygiene, and supporting scientific research, we can work together to prevent and control the spread of infectious diseases. Remember, it's up to all of us to do our part in protecting ourselves and our communities. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Thanks for watching our late night top five channel. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.